250 words. Listen, listen to me. Mr. Malchak, I see some things never change. Is, is there a problem, Carla? No. Okay, so I want you to listen because you guys are responsible for what I'm about to say. Tomorrow's assignment, 250 words on the relationship of the houses of Capulet and Montague. No one is actually aware of who Romeo and Juliet are. I am. I saw everybody. I saw everybody. Wait, one minute, one minute, one minute. Good morning. Uh, good morning. And who might you be? Uh, okay, Mr. Spooner. Private chair. Mm -hmm. Come over here. Mrs. Spooner, you should learn to make decisions for yourself. Who can tell me what Romeo's last name is? Juliet. Uh, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sure you guys better understand this period in European history at this point. And tomorrow's assignment, tomorrow's assignment, make sure it's done. You guys are done. See you tomorrow, Spooner. Yeah. Hey, Mom, where did my people come from? What do you mean? Well, I know that we're from Cuba and, and they live because of Castro. That's right. But where did people from Cuba come from? Well, I don't think Mommy and Poppy knew. I mean, they've lived on the island for so long that the stories about how they actually got here must have gotten lost. But I think some of the people did come from Africa because my father, he spoke Yoruba as well as Spanish. But that's about all I knew. Uh, what about Dad's family? Well, 
I'll tell you what I know. I remember your dad telling me that his grandparents were all immigrants and one came in as a baby in his mother's arms and then there were some youngsters that came in I think from like Germany or Holland mm. why did they leave Europe? well I vaguely remember a story about them wanting to avoid conscription Conscri conscription like the draft so they left because they didn't want to fight no, they were poor farmers, and it wasn't uncommon for poor boys to be conscripted into wars that they often didn't understand and even didn't want to be a part of. They sound like cowards. No, not at all. Do you have any idea how frightening it must be to have to leave your own country and never see your parents ever again, and then go to a country where all the people speak a different language? No, honey. Your people weren't cowards. They had to be very, very brave. The men and the women. And a lot of the Spooners, they fought and died in World War I and World War II. And they didn't have to be drafted. They volunteered. Why? Because they fought in wars whose causes they believed in. Why are you asking me all of these questions? Just some school report. Oh, well... If you have any more questions, I'll tell you what I can. <laughs> Mr. Malchek, could you please remove your hat? And I see that you... Mr. Malchek, you are working down to your usual level. Mr. Spooner, great job. Would you care to read a couple of paragraphs for the class? Uh, I'd rather not. Uh, just, just a little of how you accomplished this uh, wonderful grade. Uh, I, uh, okay. <laughs> so modest. What'd you get? C? C plus? Something like that. Now, why are you lying? <laughs> oh, now oh, it's no, on, no, bitch. No. Let's go. Come on. Hey, you kids, leave him alone. Let's go. Come on. Leave him alone. We'll see you tomorrow. He's got a little cupcake. He's just a sloppy eater. No, oh, honey. Your people are cowards. Cowards. We'll see you tomorrow, Spooner. Cowards. You have to be very, very brave. got a knife. L looks like it. You think he know how to use it, Pooch? No, I don't think so. Get him, Mo. Uh, get him. I'm gonna take that knife and make you a bitch for real. <laughs> Cut you, Mo. You're bleeding. You screwed up now, Jim. You in trouble now. You gotta get it. Jim, honey, what on earth is the 
matter. Are you sick? Yes. I'm Officer Turner. Is your son Jim here? Um, we've got uh, a petition, violation petition, filed by the Probation Department. Uh, Mr. Zavalia, have uh, you gotten a copy of that petition on behalf of your client? Case number eight. D docket 4465-03 on the docket county versus James Spooner. Spooner. Okay, James Spooner case. This is a D docket, I believe. And uh, are you James Spooner? Yes, sir. Okay. And you're his mother? Yes. Uh, James, I have a petition here under docket D 4465-03 which charges you with assault in the second degree.